This is just a quick video to talk about injective, surjective, and bijective functions. So you have a function which we'll call uh, f, here it is, f, from capital X to capital Y. Capital X is called the domain, and capital Y is called the codomain. Let's start by looking at injective functions. So injective. So let's draw a picture. So this will be capital X. And how about we go with one, two, that's good. And over here we have capital Y, and that will be three, four. And let's say our function, uh, three, four, five. Let's say our function sends one, two, three, and sends two, two, five. All right, this would be an injection because you notice that everything that gets hit, what gets hit? Three gets hit and five gets hit. So everything that gets hit, gets hit at most once. So everything that gets hit, gets hit at most once. So that's what injective means. Everything that actually gets hit in the code domain does not get hit more than one time. So what does not injective look like? Let's look at not injective. So not injective would maybe look like this. Here's one, here's two, uh, here's three, four, five, and then one goes to three and two also goes to three. So what got hit twice? Three got hit twice. So three got hit twice. So injective, everything that does get hit, gets hit at most once. All right, now let's look at surjective. Surjective. Again, we have uh, capital X, which is here. Let's see, maybe let's go with uh, one, two, three. And over here, let's just keep it at four, five. So let's send one to four, two to four, and three to five. In this case, it's obviously not injective because four got hit twice, right? Four got hit twice. But you'll notice something. Everything got hit at least once. So everything gets hit at least once. So you want to think of surjective as everything gets hit at least once. Here's an example of not surjective. Oh, and this was capital Y. So not surjective. So not surjective would look something like this. Here's one, two, three, and here's four, five. And let's be silly, let's just send everything to four. So what didn't get hit? Five didn't get hit, so it's not surjective. This is definitely not injective either, because four not only got hit once, twice, but thrice. So definitely not injective. All right, so here's the punchline. You have a function that's bijective, So what does that mean? Well, bijective means surjective and injective. So let's try to think about what bijective means in terms of what we, of what we have up here in these, in these boxes. All right, so surjective means that everything gets hit at least once. So that means everything gets hit, right? Everything's going to get hit. So everything gets hit at least once. So everything's going to get hit. And injective means that everything that does get hit gets hit at most once. So everything that does get hit gets hit at most once. Let's see if we can reason this. All right, so we have everything gets hit at least one time. So everything is going to get hit. Everything in the, say we have one, two, three. This is in our Y. Everything is going to get hit at least once. So one is getting hit, two is getting hit, and three is getting hit. That's what surjective means. Then we have injective. That means everything that does get hit gets hit at most once. Well, everything got hit because it's surjective. Since it's injective, everything's going to get hit exactly once. So bijective means everything gets hit exactly one time.